hello everyone it's been a while on the channel and um, in today's video we just want to look at an issue that I went through when I was um, trying to upload certain codes to my Arduino board is the Arduino mega board and then um, I was running the Ubuntu operating system that's the Linux and then well I ran into a problem it doesn't allow me to um, upload into the, the Arduino board it gives me an error so today that's what we are here to solve I found a way to, to solve the problem and then I just want to show you how that's done alright so I just open my um, Arduino ID and let's say that I, I load one of the examples that come already present in the um, ID so I'm going to open the blink um, project that's the one to blink the LEDs and for this one we'll just use the LED one the LED that's on the board right so we have the application open right now we can see the codes and then let's set up um select the board that we are using so the mine is Arduino mega board that's a 2560 and also we can set up the processor which is um, the 2560 at mega okay so we can see our ports that's a um, TTY ACM 0 as you can see from the um, dev folder now let's try to um, verify as you can see we have verified everything is going on well but when I try to upload you see it gives me an error telling me that um, permissions have been denied right from this um, file okay so once it's doing this um we need to head over to this file and then check the kind of permissions that um the file has okay so we need we'll open our terminal as you can see right now and then we'll type um the following code well ls um stands for um, listing whatever is needed in the directory that will be selected if no directory is selected, it's going to list all the files and folders in the current directory, right? Dash L just says that it should list them, providing um, more details to it. We can see it. We have this first section that has a CRW dash RW dash dash. Then we also have the name at the end. And then um, just to notify you, your um file might show a different number my shoes the acm zero yours might show a different number you don't need to worry just um type whatever number is there and then uh, click enter press enter okay so we can see that this file belongs to the dial out group well in ubuntu you have different types of groups that um each files or various files belong to so this particular file belongs to the uh, dial out group and then it has been given um it provides read and write permissions to the current user which is the arduino board right and then it also provides read and write permissions to the group that that particular user is part of right so that's the um currently the dial out group but there are no read and write permissions for other users people that do not belong to that um, particular group so that is why it's bringing the issue and let's um, find two ways of solving this once we have noticed that the other users do not have permissions um, to access this file all we can do is to um, assign read and write permissions to this particular file that's the first method we use and then we talk of the other method which is safer but this one is um, easier to do right so make sure you work the two methods and then you decide which one is best for you and what we can do is to type um change mode which is a chmod and then the where we have a plus rw a stands for um or so it's like saying that um plus rw means that assign read and write permissions to the current user to the groups and even to other users and once we type the um, a plus rw we need to add the file again so it's like we are assigning permissions to that particular file you can now see that the permissions for other now has read and write permissions as well 
well just um for your information the dash that you see after the rw which is a read and write stands for execute right and in um ubuntu there are certain files that you can make to be executable right so once um you have executable it will show an x there usually you can use it for um, c programming files and those kind of stuff i will set the settings back to default and then we can continue with the next method okay so the next thing or method you can use is to add the current user to the um, dialout group that you saw earlier on and then that way whenever you insert the the board and then remove it it will always um work because the current user is part of the uh, dialout group right and that means that if you should switch to another group um, if you should switch to another user maybe you create another user and then you try running the board from there it will not work because you just added this particular user right so um let's see how that's done what we can do is to type um sudo then space add user then space username well in the place of the username you need to put the actual username and then the name of the file right or the directory to where the file is okay so how do you find your username if you don't know what it is well you can find it just close to the um you can see this green writing here um the first word you have before the add sign is your username right what you can do is to type who am i and then it's going to tell you um which user you are currently using right as you can see it here and then i can also type groups to check all the groups that this particular user is part of so you can see it's part of its own um user and then it's also part of these other um, groups okay so now that we have our username we can retype that so it will sudo space add user space danzi then um space dial out and once we do that we are done if you should type groups you will still not see it as part of it because um ubuntu wants you to restart your pc or you could log out and log back in and once that's done um the changes will be saved to it right so let's do that immediately and then when we log back in we we try running the code again and then we can come to and then we can come to check the groups to see if it appears or not okay so i'm done restarting the pc let me open the id again and then uh, select the code right uh okay let's try the groups again we can see currently now we have the dial out group as part of the groups that this particular user is part of and then let's run the app again the led is currently blinking right so the issue has been solved we have come to the end kindly make sure you subscribe if you haven't let me know what you think about this video click the like button if this video was helpful to you and then most importantly share to others as well see you in the next video